Welcome to another episode of Behind the Launch. My name is Peter and today we are sitting with a very successful marketer called Brett Rutecki to talk about exactly how he made it into this business in order for you to follow exactly what he's done. This show is all about doing honest interviews with successful online entrepreneurs discussing business opportunities and making money online. So if you're interested in this space, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, making sure you don't miss any episodes. If you guys enjoy the show and the content we provide, hit that like button to let us know and also share this video with your friends, which will really help us grow. Feel free to start a conversation in the comment section down below to keep this interactive. Before we begin, I need to apologize that with this episode, we had some technical difficulties, which meant I did not get the video from Brett, but I did get the voice, and you really need to hear this guy speak. So let's get right to it. Hey Brett, and welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Fantastic. We are going to talk about Million Dollar Shortcut today. And um, before we get into a bit of background around yourself, let's let's get to the meat of it. What is Million Dollar Shortcuts all about, and why did you guys create it? <clears throat> well, the reason I created it might explain more what what it's all about. So the reason I created Million Dollar Shortcut is because of the way I built my business. Now, a lot of people have built successful businesses. A lot of people have built six-figure businesses. A lot of people have built seven-figure businesses. I'm one of the fortunate ones I was able to build a seven-figure per year business. Uh, and that's not unique. There have been other people that have done this. The thing that is unique about myself and my personal story is that I did it very quickly. So it took me less than a year and a half to go from complete newbie, know nothing, absolutely new to the IM business, to making my first million dollars. Uh, that was in less than a year and a half. And you always you talk to anybody, they always hear the story about how, oh, I struggled for years and years, and I kind of wish I had one of those cool stories. But the truth is that I don't. The truth is I didn't struggle. The truth is that my first week in the IM business, I made two grand. Okay? And the reason is because I sold software. So when people get started, they always have the same problems. They say, I have no list. I don't know how to do Facebook ads. I don't know how to do SEO. I don't know how to do traffic. How can I make money online if I don't know any of those things? And the truth is you can't unless you do it the way I did. You see, when I, when I started, I created a software and I offered the affiliates to sell the software for me. So suddenly I didn't need an email list. I didn't need to know how to do ads. I didn't need to know how to do SEO. I didn't need to know how to do any of that because the burden of doing that was lifted from me and given to the affiliates, the guys that already knew how to do that. And the great thing was that they did all that for me. They sent all the traffic, all the customers, all the leads, all the buyers. They sent all of that to my sales page for me. And I only had to pay them when they actually performed because I paid them a commission. That's how I built my business. It was actually a year before I knew how to do anything online uh, because I didn't need to know how to do it. I had the affiliates doing it all for me, right? So uh, I realized a while back, though, that I had an advantage. Like other people don't have the advantage that I had. The advantage that I had was I was a software developer. Before I got into the IM business, I was already working as a freelance. I already had like 12 years of software development experience under my belt. So when I said, okay, well, I'm going to create a software and I'm going to get the affiliates to promote it for me and basically build my business for me, it was really easy because all I had to do was invest some time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Other people who are not software developers, they have to hire a developer, spend money, hope they don't get screwed over, come up with an idea, find somebody to test it, find somebody to run your service. It's a real pain in the ass, and that's why other people can't do it. Like People know that they should be creating products. People know that if they create products, they can sell them. They can get a buyer's email list. They can get affiliates to do all the work for them. The problem is there's such a huge barrier to get to product creation that they can't seem to get through that barrier. And what I did was I created, I, I created what I call my agency access. Now, agency access is my system that allows people to sell my software. And when I say sell my software, they're actually listing the software for sale on JVZoo under their own name, and they're using all my resources. So when I say all my resources, I mean I've created the software, of course. Yeah. I've also created the sales page. 
I've also created the members area. I've also created the sales video. I also do all the hosting, all the updates, all the support for a cloud-based software. Literally, the only thing that people need to do is copy some code from our system, paste it into JVZoo, copy some code that they get from JVZoo, paste it in our system, and suddenly they are now product vendors with everything done. This means they can attract affiliates. They can yeah. get affiliates to send them all that traffic and send them the leads and build their business just the way I did. And that's where the name Million Dollar Shortcut comes from because it's agency access to three of my cloud-based softwares and it allows people to have a shortcut. So now they don't have to get, get yeah. a product created because yeah. I've already done it for them. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So, I mean, maybe just to dive into a bit more detail. So you say they listed as their own software. Um, it's not really changing the software. It's it's already there. They just list it on JVZoo, and that you yeah, no, all that you teach, no. all that do you teach that in the course, or is that kind of? Um, I, I mean, to, to actually just get it listed on JVZoo, do you, is that taught in in um, million dollar yeah, shortcuts? Yeah, this video that teaches people how to list it in JVZoo, and I, like I said, it's really easy because you're just it basically says here you copy this from our system, paste it over here in JVZoo, and oh, press okay. save. That's really all there is to it, right? Okay. Uh, it's not that complicated. You copy because we already have the settings. We've already built the sales pages and everything. We already got everything set up. The the members area, it's all set up. So we just say mm -hmm. copy it from here, paste it into JVZoo, press save, then get your buy button code from JVZoo, paste it in our system, press save. Mm -hmm. So if you can copy and paste and press the save button, yeah. you can use my agency access. If you can't copy and paste, then it's not for you. Okay. That sounds uh, interesting, and the thing is, so, so you list it as your own product, or as your own listing on JVZoo, and then obviously all the sales, uh, if you give 50% away to affiliates, and the other, I mean, the agency access, do you get any any commission from those sales, if people buy that? No, I get nothing, I get nothing, because they are the vendors, yeah. they are the product vendors, so I get nothing, I don't see the sales, yeah. I don't see the customers, I don't see the emails, that all goes to them, that's what it's important, this is not, you know, uh, reseller rights, this is, you are now, in essence, as far as JVZoo is concerned, the owner of this product, yeah. and I actually had to speak, I, I, when I first started doing this, it was a while back, Brian Zimmerman was the CEO of JVZoo, and I had to explain it to, Jay, to Brian Zimmerman to get his permission to allow it on their platform. Okay. And then when he stepped down and stopped being the CEO, I explained it to Laura Castleman and got her permission uh, to make sure that people are going to be okay with doing that. Yeah. Um, and I showed it to them. They're like, oh my God, that's really cool. Yeah, bring people to JVZoo. Go for it. You know? Okay. So it works so, out for everybody then. So cool. I mean, what I'm hearing is. Um, <laughs> It's well, and the, the kind of the name kind of more, makes more sense to me. But like you say, it's if you can copy paste, you can do this. Um, you don't need to, everything is hosting hosted by you guys as well, so you don't need your own website. You don't need any of that. It's just it's all hosted and listing on JVZoo, and the sales you just get commissions and stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I noticed people like a lot of people started doing these what they call like. Uh, reseller rights or white label rights. Mm -hmm. And so they would sell a software and then somewhere in the funnel, as one of the up upsells, they would say, pay three ninety five, and you can get our reseller rights or white label rights to our software. And people bought it thinking, oh, that's cool. I can have a software to sell. But they buy it and then the, the vendors give them a whole bunch of files. Like, here's a whole bunch of files. Here's the software. And that doesn't do any good. Like, what's that going to do? If you don't know how to set up a server, if you don't know how to edit it, how to run it and create a database, that's not going to do you any good. Uh, so when I built my system, my agency access, I did a complete done for you. Yeah. So all the thing is done. Everything is already set up. Copy and paste, press save, you're done. So essentially business in the box. Uh, yeah. And, and the idea and the reason I do that again is because I, I built this because I know 100% for sure. And this is something that everybody needs to accept. Whether you buy my software, or buy my agencies, or choose not to, that's fine. But everybody needs to accept this. If you want to be successful without going through a whole bunch of crap, you need to sell a product. Mm -hmm. Quite simple. You have to sell a product. I mean, how are you going to get people to think about it? How are you going to get people to give you money if you don't sell them something? Yeah. That's how you make money. You give them something and they give you something, right? Exactly, yeah. you want they need something in exchange. Uh, so you have to be selling something. And all the time I hear people saying like, oh man, I, I, I just keep trying this and this and this and I'm not getting anywhere. Okay. And I say, what are you selling? 
And they say, well, I'm not selling anything. And I say, well, then why would anybody give you money? <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> to sell something. Uh, and this gives people something to sell. And what's great about it is if they use the JVZoo network the way I did, which is what I suggest, they can now get affiliates to do the actual selling. So now they don't need a list. They don't need to know how to do traffic. Yeah. They don't they know how to do anything. So that all falls on the affiliates. Exactly. I mean, even, even today, I still use, when I do a software launch, what am I doing? I'm using affiliates to send me traffic yeah. to do all the stuff that I don't want to do, right? Please. Okay, but um, I think it's also to take note that um, this is software that's created by you guys, but not only do you take all that burden away of uh, creating a software, but I mean, all the support and all that stuff, is that still handled by you guys as well? Yeah, absolutely. I do all the support. I do all the updates. So I keep the server running. I do the support for everybody. I make sure the customers are happy yeah. and things don't go down. Uh, and again, that's just because if I were to... If I were to make the other people, my customers, do that, hmm. uh, it wouldn't do them any good because they don't have the technology. I mean, I'm the one that built the software. I'm yes. the best one to do the support, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. So yeah, I mean, so just to be clear, you get the through the agency license, you get the software, you can sell it, but that's where your as a whoever bought the agency, that's where the, the responsibility ends. All the support, all that stuff is still handled by you guys, and. I mean, just the uh, what what types of software is it? Is it do you, can so we get there, it? there's three softwares. There's there's three softwares. You actually get three. A part of Million Dollar Shortcuts, you get three. I wanted to give people more than one. I wanted to give them options. I wanted to give them multiple ways to generate income. Um, so you get three softwares. The first one is my social traffic system, which is a training course. It's a member. There's a members area with a training course in it, mm -hmm. and and also software as well. It's a combination uh, that teaches people how I make. Uh, money and get free traffic from Facebook. So that's something that these people can have, but it's also something that they can sell to other people as well. Uh, the second thing that they get is my Autonars software. So Autonars is my automated webinar platform. Uh, so it's a full featured automated webinar platform. It even comes with pre-done webinars. Uh, people can have that as well that are part of Million Dollar Shortcut, but more importantly, they can also sell it to other people as well by listing it on JVZoo. And finally is my Hijack software, which is something that I use uh, not all the time, but I use it, you know, we got to mix it up a little bit, uh, but I do use Hijacks to do affiliate marketing. It's a jacking tool that I use uh, when I do affiliate promos, and again, people can sell that to other people as well. Okay, cool. Cool. Um so the next question kind of will come up, I'm sure, but uh, and that's about the saturation. Won't this be uh, become saturated? Uh, I kind of know the answer, but let's get into it as well, because I mean, I always say, uh, like, which is not well, in pro products which I don't like anyway, but I mean, those products is like thousands of people pro promoting one product, and they still sell. So. Um, yeah, you hear, you, you hear that all the time, that whole saturation thing. I hear that a lot. I hear people talk about saturation and like, you know, first of all, the, well, first of all, I'm going to say the world is a really gigantic place, okay? Uh, but let's not even talk about the world. Let's just talk about JVZoo. JVZoo has a couple hundred thousand registered buyers on JVZoo. There's over a hundred thousand affiliates on JVZoo, yeah. and there are a couple of hundred thousand registered buyers, okay? Now, I, don't, I think you've launched products before, right, mm -hmm. yourself? Yeah, so you know as well as I do that a good product launch does three, maybe two to three thousand sales, right? Yeah. When I do a product launch, I do three, I do three, four thousand sales. I know all the big affiliates. We do three or four thousand sales. We only reach about two percent of all of the buyers that are out there. Yeah. Okay, so okay. what that means is there is 98% left, okay? 98% of the people that are just buying right now on JVZoo have never even heard of my software. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, and, and if I'm one of the top marketers and I can only get 2% to even hear about my software, mm -hmm. uh, that means that everybody else in the world is not going to saturate the other 98%. It's just not going to happen. And as a matter of fact, if somebody buys my million dollar shortcut and figures out how to get all of those other 98% of the people to, to buy, I want to have dinner with them and I want them to explain to me how the hell they did it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yes. Of course. Okay. <laughs> So let's uh, just, just a bit more in the details. So um, number one, you say it's if uh, like an agency 
Dubai. Uh, let's get to the, the pr price point, what's, what you get. Um, uh, so you get all three of them. You get 200 licenses to all three. Now that's 200 per each one of those three softwares mm -hmm. uh, for $27. That's the initial front end price. Uh, then we do have an upgrade. I believe it's 67 we priced it at so that way you can have unlimited licenses to all three. Okay. okay. Um, after that, uh, we do have two other softwares that you can buy individual agency to, uh, which is my MyMailit platform and my InstaFunnel platform. Uh, and that's it. That's that's the entire funnel right there. Uh, there is training included with it where we teach people how to reach out to affiliates, how to approach them, how to attract them and get them to want to promote for you. Yeah. Uh, that's something we do for free. That's not an upgrade. Everybody's going to get that training. And I do that because I don't want to just give people a system and say, here you go, figure it out, have fun. I want to give people a system and then show them how to make actually money with it. And I don't think I should charge people for that. I think that should be free. Yeah. Okay. And, and again, just a bit, a bit more on yourself. I mean, you said, uh, I mean, when you started, you actually had a, a software developing background, all that stuff. So you're teaching exactly how you got started. You create your own software, but with this, you you provide a software for people already. Uh, but just tell us, just in five or a few seconds, um, how long ago did you start, and um, and what made you, yeah, your experience in the internet marketing space? How long did it take me to get started? I don't well, know. Well, yeah. How long? How long have you been in this business, and how long did it take you I, to I get started? I went full time. I went full time in the IM business in February of 2014. Now, that's when I quit freelancing and said I'm going to be full time in in, in the internet marketing business. So I've been full time for about four and a half years. Yeah. Um, in that time, I generated about four, three point eight million online. Been quite successful. Yeah. Um, before that, though, I did for about six months. Before that, I did dabble a little bit in it, or kind of did it on the side. You know, while I was still like working for other people uh, for about six months. So total about five years I've been in the internet marketing space. If you include my part time and my full time, uh, it took me a week to make my first bit of money. I, yeah. I made almost two thousand dollars my very first week. Okay. Uh, I, I've never yeah. had a downtime, seriously. And it sounds like I said, I wish I had one of those cool stories because everybody yeah. likes to hear them like, oh man, I was broke and, and living on my friend's couch and eating ketchup packets. They're kind of cool stories to tell people because yeah. people like the, the, the come up story. Uh, but the truth is I didn't have a come up story. I was successful from the start. Yeah. And that's because I was doing the right thing from the start. I was selling products. That's what everybody should be doing. Yes. And Million Dollar Shortcuts uh, teaches exactly that. So I also see you guys have a webinar. Uh, let's just get to the launching. So it's launching on the 17th of, of July at um, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. But I do see you guys are running a webinar at 9. Uh, can you just let the guys know um, what's that, what that's all about? Well, when in a webinar, I'm going to explain to people how I started my business, explain to people why selling products is a good thing, why it's important, explain to people how you can utilize affiliates to get you all that traffic and stuff that you don't need. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also going to give away one free copy. I always give a free copy away in the webinar. Uh, I'm going to talk about the million dollar shortcut, what it is, make sure people understand it, uh, because I want people to who buy from me to make informed purchase decisions. I want them to understand what they're yeah. buying. Uh, I'm going to get, like I said, I'm going to give one free copy of it away, of it away, and of course, you're going to get the earliest price, the lowest price on the webinar as well at the end. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I mean, that's that's very, that's actually fantastic because um, if someone is not quite clear what it's all about, I mean, just spend that that hour webinar, check what it's all about, and then, like you say, then make an informed decision from there if uh, this is for you or not. Yeah, I want happy customers. Uh, not people that just bought because they were confused, and that's why I do those webinars. It's not to hype people up; it's to say, "Say, hey, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. If you like it, here you can have it. If not, thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned yeah. something." You know? Yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. So you say it's the front end, it's the agency, and then there's the upsell for unlimited. Um, is there anything, any other upsells that people can expect? Yeah, like I said, there's there's the front end, which is 200 licenses to three of my cloud-based softwares. Yeah. Uh, the first upsell is unlimited to all three of them, yeah. and then there is two more upsells for agencies to two more of my products. Okay, for extra products. Okay, I know that's that's quite um, that's all good. Um, Brett, I think we've we've covered covered everything. Uh, is there anything else you want to add um, for the guys watching? 
Uh, yeah, I will, I will say this. And uh, even if you decide that, you know, my agency isn't for you, even if you decide you don't want to sell my software, um, which would make me, you know, surprised because I have a pretty good rep as a software developer in this space. But if you decide, hey, I don't want to sell Brett software, um, I want everybody to understand that if you're not getting the success that you want, it's probably because you're not selling something. That really is the number one thing. Just to ask yourself, name any top market. As a matter of fact, let's play a fun game. Pick a, pick a top market that pops off your head. Frank Kern. Frank Kern. Guess what Frank Kern does for a living? He sells, uh, he sells, he sells products. products yeah. yeah, pick another one. Um, top marketer. I don't know him that many, but... Uh, Sam Becker, Todd yeah. Brown, Steel Nate Fair, Mario Brown. Name He's, anybody. That's what they all do. Yeah. They sell products. He's, you see a pattern there? I know. If you're not getting the success you want, Maybe it's because you're not selling something. Exactly. No, 100%. Yeah, and again, just to maybe close off, as a JV, to sell other people's software, normally you need the list to make money selling that software. But if you've got, you know, like you say, if you've got your own product, your own software, whatever. Guess how, guess how I got you my list. list. Yeah, yeah. yeah guess, how I got, I, guess how I got my list. From I sold software. The, I, I listed a software for sale on JVZoo. The affiliates promoted it and gave me the list. As a matter of fact, they gave me the list, and I got paid to get it. Yep. No, cool. That's just, yeah, so, I mean, that's it's a simple model. It's just, uh, yeah, like you say, that huge barrier to actually get, get a product out to, be it software, info, or whatever. Uh, but that's a huge bar barrier to actually create a uh, software. So, so Million Dollar Shortcuts actually sounds like a very good um, platform to start. Yeah, like I said, even if people decide, that's the last, that's the closing I want to give everybody. If you say, hey, Brett, you know what? I, I like what you said, but I just don't want to use your, I don't like you. <laughs> you got, you know, like you're funny looking. I don't want to buy your product. Yeah. That's fine. Great. But please take my advice when I say to everybody, selling your own product is really what you should be doing. When you sell your own product, you don't need to do any of that SEO traffic stuff. The affiliates do it for you. They build, give you an email list and you make money. So, Make money, build a list, and not have to do any of that other crap because the affiliates do it all. Kind of a pretty good deal there, right? Yeah, exactly. No, 100%. Um, so just a reminder for the guys watching, it's uh, launching on the 17th of July at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Do yourself a favor, uh, jump on the webinar at 9 a.m. to make sure you know exactly what it's all about. Brett will tell you guys everything you need to know, and then again, like you said, make informed decision so that you know what you're getting into. But, um, yeah, thanks, Brett. I'm uh, going to let you, you go. Thanks again for joining us on the show. It's, it's, it's been great having you here. Hey, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. You... 100%, 100 Have a good day. And there you go, guys. A complete business in the box that will accelerate your path to success following exactly what Brett did when he started out. And promoting software that he already provides so that other people can sell it for you. If you guys like this episode, please be sure to smash that like button to let us know. And also do check out my bonus page with the special custom bonuses I offer with this offer. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time.